Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give a summary of how I generally do my cardigans and kimonos. So I normally make them from the bottom up as one piece whereby my starting chain is usually the measurements of the hips when slightly stretched. I don't do I don't count chains unless it's necessary. Then I'll work my pattern until I get to the armpits where I separate three into three, the back panel and the front panels. And the most important thing to remember is to maintain the consistency of the, of the pattern because each panel will be making it on its own. So you have to follow the pattern that you, the, you, the way you did the pattern from the beginning up to the end, you don't ruin anything. So... For example, in this cardigan, if your last row ended at this point, that is where we'll start this panel. You go this way, you turn back that way until you finish. The same to the back, you'll start at this point, you go to the other point, then back and forth. To the other panel, you start at this point, back and forth until you finish to the desired height to the uh, desired height to the shoulders then once you finish each panel on its own you join them together at the shoulders you can do this using either a darning needle or a crochet hook and if you are going to use a crochet hook it's important to remember that you use a, a hook size a one size higher than the one you use while making it so yes so that because of the the tension i'm going to use a darning needle for mine i join the shoulders and then do the other finishings like the ends you see they are flying around you have to hide them then once you finish you have to work on the edges uh, you start from the bottom you go all the way up and round the neck then down again to the bottom there are different patterns you can use for that then if you are making a kimono you still have then you, you do the edges on the on the arms so once you do that if it's a kimono it will be done and ready to be worn so mine is going to be a cardigan so here are my sleeves i've already worked them separately and i'm going to join them to the cardigan and here is the finished here is my finished edges for the front part I did not finish the arms because it's a cardigan. I cannot finish. I have to attach the sleeves to that. Yeah, and once you you attach, you also remember you can use a darning needle or a crochet hook to join the sleeves. So this pattern is called a crunch stitch. This the stitch is called a crunch stitch, and I'm going to upload a video, a detailed one about. I don't know how to make go about it yes it's a very nice stitch you can use it on blankets you can use it on sweaters you can use it on basically so many things even on dresses if you are using the thinnest yarn so yeah i'm going to upload a, vid a detailed video of how to make it and in this cardigan i also use a different pattern for the bottom a part because i wanted to be i wanted it to be a bit unique so a detailed video will be coming soon